I'm Warren Bernhardt, and welcome to this, uh, the second uh, in my video series on homespun tapes. The first series, we covered uh, some subjects that were fairly uh, simple and easy to understand, at least I thought so, and I've heard from some people that they uh, gained a lot from it. So uh, we've decided to go a little bit further, and on this particular tape, I'd like to um, focus on some particulars of the harmony that we use in jazz on the keyboard. First of all, if you get more than one tone, you have what's called an interval. One tone is a tone, two tones is an interval. Okay, and, and there's quite a few intervals that we have to discuss. If uh, they're uh, a second apart, we call that a major second. If they're just a half tone apart, a semitone apart, it's called a minor second. So the intervals would go up in this order, starting on an F. A G flat would be a semitone above. A G would be a tone above. Uh, a flat will be a minor third, what we call a minor third, the interval of the minor third. Then the major third, and then the fourth. Let's look ahead at some of these examples. I've named the F chord, right? Now, whenever you see an F seventh, what that means is that you take the tonic chord, the triad, and you add this, the dominant seventh to it. Remember when we spoke about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not the major seventh, it's the dominant seventh. So you have to get familiar with that sound because we're going to be using it a lot. Now say the next example would be an F sixth. We one, three, five, six. Or the next would be F minor seventh. And you'd put this together, you'd, you'd take your minor scale now, in, in minor scales, we get more than one scale, so... There's an ascending minor, and there's a descending minor. So, generally speaking, the, the, it's a little more ambiguous when you're dealing with minor scale. Little, here's uh, another kind of thing, a more open kind of voicing, this B flat over D I've got. All that is is uh, an inverted B flat triad where I've taken the... The, second, the first inversion of a B-flat triad, one, three, five, I've moved this tone up an octave, right? I've taken this down an octave and then, and I've doubled the fifth. Get a nice sound out of that. Just going through what we call two, five, one. In the key of C, you'll notice in the next example, I have a D-seventh. There's your D7th to a G7th to a C. You'll notice in this example, I've written it two different ways. I wrote D7th, G7th, C. The chords are down below in the bass clef. And I've also written a, two, a big two, small seven, big five, small seven, one. That means we're working on this progression two, five, one. So I'm taking the second position in the C scale, the D, the seventh chord, the fifth position, the G, the dominant seventh chord to the tonic. Now in the next example, I've written D minor to G7 to a C major ninth, for instance. Now this progression happens over and over and over again in all popular music in uh, keyboard literature, any kind of musical literature. It's a very popular cadence. Uh, there's another exercise. You'll notice the next example. I'd like to talk a little bit about the diminished scales, and then, then I'll show you a really good etude in working on chord voicings. And we'll talk about some voice leading in a minute. But uh, you see, I have a, using flat five to flat nine chords, I have an E minor seven flat five in the first bar. And then I go to an A seventh flat nine. And then I do the same two five kind of progression. That's actually two five into D, right? 
you're going uh, the two chord to the five. Now I start again in the D, going into C. And then I keep going. And I finally resolve on a B flat. Look at the next example here. Now I've gone a little bit further. If I play this just the way I wrote it, it's just one of a myriad of possibilities. I've got a G minor 11. Now I'm going to play a C 13 sus. Which Right? And then I'm going to resolve it to the third. I'm going to take away the suspension. So I've changed it in another way. Uh, I'm not particularly fond of doubling the third, but, but that's another way of getting to the F chord. Now I've voiced that up here with it's kind of like this one that I showed you, but I moved it up and I. minor seventh. Now I'm going to play an F thirteenth and show you how the flat thirteenth works going into the B flat chord. Here's an F thirteen and I uh, 